What's up my lovely people? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your very own t-shirt mock-ups using Kittle Flow. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing you wanna do is come over to Kittle.com. Once you are on the site, go ahead and upload your image or design that you want to make mock-ups for. In order to do that, come over to the left side, go to Uploads, and then you wanna come up here to the Upload button. You choose whichever design you wanna work with today. So once you have that, it's going to be on a canvas like this. Now we are going to go ahead and start creating our mock-ups. Next thing you wanna do is come over to the text artboard, click on that, and it's gonna select the entire canvas. Next, you wanna click this arrow here, and this is gonna create a smart board. And that's where the mock-up will be created. The next thing I'm gonna do is place my prompt for my image, and basically the prompt is what's going to describe how I want my image or mock-up to look. And I created those using ChatGPT. And just so you know, I'll leave the prompts down below for you to use yourself if you want to. So let's go ahead and plug in that first prompt. I believe this first one is for a back print. Let's see. The aspect ratio that I'm using is one by one and the quality is high. It's gonna cost me 42 tokens. You can always try out the low and see how it does, but I just prefer the high. I'm gonna go ahead and come down here to generate and I was gonna go ahead and generate my mock-up that I want and for your mock-ups you don't have to create just t-shirt mock-ups it can be for whatever product that you want to mock up it can be a notebook a mouse pad a tumbler anything once you have created your prompts on whatever AI tool that you use like I said I use ChatGPT to create my prompts and then I go ahead and just plug it in whatever tool I'm using today I'm using Kittle Flows so let's see how this turned out okay that came out very nice so now you see my exact design that I have here transferred over to my mock-up and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and create another one in a different style. So what I'm going to do is click back on the first original artboard, click here on the arrow and it's going to drop down to another smart board. So go ahead and click that and let's go ahead and plug in the next prompt. And the best thing about Kittle Flows, you don't have to wait for just one to generate, you can go ahead and generate multiple ones at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate a couple more while I wait for that one to come up. Let's go ahead and do another one. I'm gonna do two. And you can always move the smart board up or down. I see that it's, it keeps stacking them to the bottom, so you can always move it to the top and even them out. Let's go ahead and click here again. I'm gonna bring this smart board up here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and generate some more. Right now, I'm generating some t-shirt mock-ups, but I think I wanna create some hoodie mock-ups and see how those come out. Let's see if the other one came out nicely. The reason why my design didn't pop up on this mock-up is because how I set up my prompt. So I'm gonna go back into my prompt. I'm gonna scroll up to the top and I'm gonna say, put this design on. Now we're gonna go ahead and generate that again and see how that came out but the image looks very nice high quality so let's see it with the design though i'm going to go ahead and generate some more let's go ahead and use this smart board here paste the prompt and in the beginning i did say put this design on a t-shirt mock-up of and then it has the whole prompt i'm going to go ahead and generate and like i said before if you're not sure how to create the prompts yourself no worries i have the prompts in the description below if you like to try these out yourself. So let's go ahead and check on the redo. Okay, there we go. And now my design is on here. So it's not gonna always come out perfectly like I said. Uh, maybe you just wanna create some blank mockups and you can always take it to another platform and mock up your own design yourself. That's another idea to do, but I just wanted to show you if you maybe wanted to just take your design and make it look as realistic as possible on the mockup because you can see, I'll scroll back up, nope, scroll back down. As you can see on this one, the design looks as if it was freshly printed on this shirt here. It has the shading and everything. That's why I would probably use this to create my mock-ups. Here's another one, and that one looks really good also. Now I'm gonna try it on a hoodie. Let's go ahead and scroll down to a new blank smart board. I selected the smart board. Now I'm gonna come over here and paste the prompt. Hopefully this will work as I'm picturing it in my mind right now. And let's go ahead and generate another one. Click artboard. All right, let's go ahead and paste the new 
prompt here and let's see how it comes out. So this is great for if you just wanna generate some fresh new mock-ups that are not on the market yet. Maybe you really wanna send out from your competition. This is a great way to do it. And like I said, they don't have to have the design on there. They could be completely blank. And this one came out really nice. So this is the hoodie one that I was talking about here. It doesn't have the strings on it and it has the design on there. I really like how that one came out. So now I have what, three, four mock-ups, I think. One, two, three, four, create some more. And if you wanna use a different design and you wanna stay on the same page, all you have to do is come over to your uploads, make sure that you have your new design you wanna use. Let's try out this one here. So I need an artboard for this image here. All I'm gonna do is come down here, Click on this icon for a new artboard and you can drag with your mouse. Just click the background and drag. And I'm just gonna make it 3,500 by 3,500. I want it to be a square. And I'm just gonna go to the corner and I'm gonna size it down cause it's a little too big for me. And just drag it anywhere on the canvas. Grab the image, drag it on there size it down and we're just gonna rinse and repeat basically what we did with this one except for this one i'm just gonna do all back prints to me it looks better on the back print versus front so click on the artboard click on the arrow for a new smart board and let's find a back print prompt i have my first prompt i'm gonna do for a back print i'm gonna go ahead and create like three more boards for this Let's drag that one up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this smart board, go over here and paste in my prompt. And remember in the beginning of your prompt to always type, put this design on blank, whatever it may be. Now we're gonna go ahead and generate that. And this one's gonna be a hoodie. Let's go ahead and place that one there and generate. And let's see how these come out. I thought that was supposed to be a back print you're doing some trial and error right along with me but because i'm doing all the trial and error all you have to do is copy and paste the final prompt at the end oh it even changed the color of the design that's dope but i still want this on the back print it looks okay on the front but i want it on the back so can we get the back? I'm gonna do another smart board. Give me a moment, Let's go over here, paste that, and let's see how this comes out. And the good thing about creating your own mock-ups is that you're able to easily stand out on whatever platform you're using because nine times out of 10, everybody's buying from the same person or company with their mock-up. So it's very easily to blend in with everybody else. But by you generating your own with AI, you're able to look original and like a true brand because these will be models that they have not seen yet or poses they haven't seen yet. And you get to just create your own environment. Finally, it did a back print and this one came out really nicely. The design doesn't look exactly like the original design, but I can always generate it as a blank mock-up and just place my design on there manually. So no worries about that. And this one came out okay as well, but I like how it makes it look like it was just freshly printed on the t-shirt because the words are bending with the t-shirt down here so that's nice now i'm gonna just create some blank mock-ups let's see i'm gonna try to generate it from here and see if it'll do a blank mock-up for me like i said we're doing some trial and error together i'm gonna go ahead and paste that here and let's see we're looking for a blank mock-up i'm not looking for the design to be on here and if you're wondering how long it takes to generate it tells you right here this came out nice however i wanted it to be a blank mock up but that's okay we're just going to go ahead and create a new canvas and now i'm going to go ahead and come over here to kittle ai and let's try out something let's try to remove the design from the back of the shirt so what i'm going to do is click on this smart board here click on the arrow to make a new smart board come over here to create a new prompt and when all i'm going to say is something simple so like remove design from the t-shirt and let's just see what comes up. In the meantime, I'm gonna come up here to my new artboard, make it a little bit bigger. Come over here to Kittle AI. And right now I am on Chat GPT Image 1 HD. It's gonna cost me 42 tokens. If you wanna do something that doesn't cost as many tokens, all you have to do is click on this drop box here or drop arrow and 
try out any one of these. They have a lot of options to choose from. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the same exact prompt in here and click generate image. And I'm just gonna make sure I select the artboard I want this image to come on to. And we're gonna go back and check on the other smart board and see if it will remove the design from the back just so I can use a blank mock-up instead. Should be coming up any second. It did end up removing the design from the back of the shirt and now I can just place whatever design I want on here. So I'm gonna go over to my uploads and let's just say I wanna use this design here. Now I can just place it where I wanna place it. Now I can use any design that I want to. And let's now go ahead and scroll up to the one that was generated through the chat GPT. And I'm gonna try something else. So right now it's a male, right? And this one came out really nice, high definition, everything high quality, really, really nice. So what I'm going to do, click on this artboard here, make a smart board, and I wanna try to make it into a female instead of a male. Change to a female. Simple, no detailed prompt. I'm just gonna see what the smart board will bring up for me using the Kittle Flows. So let's see what happens. I can't really tell. So this is the new image here. It looks kind of like a female. I can see the lashes compared to this one here. Now I'm going to show you how to export your new blank mockups or the mockups with your designs on it. So what we're gonna do is come on over to the first set of mockups that I created. And let's say I want to download this one here. Just select the smart board that is on. Come up here and export, quick export, and then you can go ahead and export it. If you want to double the size of it right now, it's 1200 by 1200. My suggestion is for it to be at least like a 3500 by 3500. We are going to uh, three times that and then go ahead and export. That will go over into your downloads on your desktop or your laptop, whatever you're working on. And you will have your new mock-up. And we're just gonna do the same for this one. Click on the smart board, come up here to the top, click quick export. And another way to do it is to come over here to this same icon that's right here, the export. Then you wanna select the smart board that you want to download. Let's say I want to download just the blank one. So I'm gonna select that one. Okay, we're gonna take this one here. Go ahead and click right here where it says selected artboard. Let's click that again so that Dropbox can go back up and come over here to the DPI. Make sure that's at least 300 for quality. And we don't wanna remove the background. Unless you do, maybe you do. But I don't wanna remove the background. You can optimize the quality as well and go ahead and click download. In this case, I've already sized it up to 300 DPI, so I don't really think I need to optimize the quality, but I'll go ahead and do it just because. So go ahead and download. And that's another way to download your mockups. And now I have exported those files into my downloads on my computer. And now I can do whatever I want with them. I can put whatever designs that I may have onto the mockups and upload them to the platform that I'm selling on, which is Etsy. But this is how you can create your own mockups using Kittle Flow. So the possibilities are literally endless. Different styles, different poses, anything. So if you have any questions about what I just went through or maybe you're stuck somewhere, definitely comment below and I'll be sure to answer. And if you would like to take this a step further and would like a more one-on-one -on -one setting with me, definitely be sure to click the link below for my mentorship program. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Looking to try out Kittle for yourself? You can do just that by clicking the link below and you can try it for free. There's also a discount code for their pro plan as well.